Republicans think it's a prank, uh, but we believe it's a crime. Democratic leaders reacting to Sunday's fake robocall that used what appears to be a computer-generated President Biden voice to encourage people not to vote. To tell people false information about an election to me is an unpardonable sin. Former party chair Kathy Sullivan has been part of the right in Biden effort. She says her number was included in the call. Somebody wanted to hurt Biden. Somebody wanted to lower the number of votes he's getting tomorrow. But what it does tell me is that our effort to have people go and write in Joe Biden's name on the ballot is working and it's scaring someone. While parts of it may sound like the president. Voting this Tuesday only enables the Republicans in their quest to elect Donald Trump again. Your vote makes a difference in November, not this Tuesday. My immediate thought was that, yes, this is, certainly sounds exactly like um, President Biden, um, but I knew the message was wrong. The White House confirms that call was indeed uh, fake and not recorded by the president. Cybersecurity experts say you should always be skeptical of unexpected calls, but there are other signs to look out for. If you listen to the call, you'll hear certain aspects of it are a little fuzzy. Some of the breaks aren't natural. They aren't the natural way a person would speak. That's a little bit of a telltale sign. And again, President Biden is not on the ballot, nor has he campaigned here. But in a statement, a Biden-Harris campaign official said in part, quote, spreading disinformation to suppress voting and deliberately undermine free and fair elections will not stand. We're live tonight in Concord. Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.